Welcome back guys. Today we're going to start our journey to the Savage Planet. The game I saw a preview for not too long ago. It looked pretty good and I kind of like the artwork in it. It looks like it's got a good sense of humor so we're going to give it a shot. And see what it has to offer. Well, what am I doing here? Single player, yet. Campaign 0%. Perfect. That's where I like to start. Guys, I gotta say thanks for all the support the channel's got lately. It's got some absolutely huge love and support, and uh, can't thank you enough for it. If you guys like this video, you want to see some more of it, slap that like button. Let's see what happens. Okay. Hi, my name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining hmm. the Pioneer Program. Doesn't sound like exactly a place I want to be. Oh, I can well, actually stop it. My name is Echo, and I'm here to help guide you on your mission. But first things first, please log into the computer and fill out a teeny weeny questionnaire, if you don't mind, so we can make sure you're not crazy. 3D well, printer? Nothing nice. in the world I would like more than to launch this craft back to Earth so you can rejoin your loved ones should you have any. Ooh, speed, 100 Please megahertz. Do you see that? Hard. That's one zippy computer I'm right there. A suitable fuel source on the planet. New report. Looks like you made it. <laughs> well, that's comforting. My job is to continually assess your mental state and as Oh, I have to pick a photo. <laughs> These are amazing. Could you please identify yourself? Okay, your you can be the dog. Now this this actually looks a lot like me, so we're gonna go with this because that's exactly what I look like in real life. Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. Oh yeah, uh, yeah are you sure about that? Okay, messages. Welcome. Okay. Hi. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. This guy kind of creeps me out a little bit. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration. <laughs> the company. fourth best. Not number one, From two, or three. Beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further. From the bottom of the oceans, and now, to the stars! Our next step is to move beyond pure exploration and into settlement, which is why you are here. Our scientists have identified several planets that may be fit for human habitation. Yours is... ERY-26. Your job is to explore the planet's surface, catalog its <laughs> creatures, threats, and opportunities, and send your data back to our crack team of scientists here at Kindred for analysis. The more you discover, the more we'll be able to guide your experience and highlight objectives for you and your partner, if you have one. If you have one? I should also mention that while every effort has been made to ensure a comfortable and safe journey, recent budget challenges plus the unknown natures of the obstacles you will face mean that we were unable to send you anything in the way of equipment. <laughs> <laughs> but don't stress, however, as your habitat comes equipped with a 3D printer that is more than capable of turning any old space trash you discover into useful items. One minor note. All the fuel in your javelin was used in the journey from Earth and the landing on your planet. You will need to discover a local resource that you can refine into an appropriate fuel. Unless, of course, you decide to spend the rest of your life off Earth. <laughs> but I don't want to take up too much of your time, and I'm sure you're very excited to explore. So I wish you good luck. We will send updates on your progress as you complete your scheduled surveys. Stay alive. 
and see you soon. <laughs> okay, that's just that's creepy in a whole new sense. And now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. I don't need a gun on my current mission. Okay. What kind of items we got here? Our utility belt. Oh, these are all locked. It's probably all. Yeah. Everything's locked out. Okay. Um. This looks really cool. Whoop! Teleporter. Beam me down. Or. 20 feet away? 12 meters away. Grob. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. Oh, I can carry three. I don't know what they do. Be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. Wow, look at my broken spaceship. The is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world Okay, so Jay opens up that. by opening the exterior hatch. Oh, over here. <laughs> my doesn't work. Everything is broken. <laughs> Oh, I love the sense of humor. Great. Now they'll provide you with approximate locations of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty big. Wow, this up, looks really but good. You'll scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang upness. Bang upness. Z to show track missions. Don't to continually scan your surroundings. Oh. The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ. Busted landing gear. Not the smoothest landing, but at least we survived, right? Not a bad way of putting it. Alright, so I gotta figure out what all is broken fuel with my are ship. Intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations! You're home already. <laughs> this exterior panel must have been knocked loose on landing. I am adding a location marker to your compass. Please find it and scan it. If you lose your way, you can always hit the survey button to highlight its location again. Ah. Oh. Oh, cool. Uh, got to scan that? Ah. Uh, there is our missing panel. Well done. In the future, whenever you need help finding your currently selected objective, you can use survey to orient yourself. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Could be destroyed with enough force. Oh, looks like you will need a new tool in order to venture further. I have added a new to the Javelin's 3D printer that should do the trick. These guys aren't hostile, right? You'll need to gather some oh my gosh, look at these things. The Q to aim, release the throw. Hey, look at that. Hey. Oh, I just launched it. That was terrible. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is just disturbing. Pop them for a quick shot of health. They're good for drugs, but good drugs. Oh, and there's more spawned already. Hope you guys aren't mad at me about, you know, the last batch of you. Uh, okay. So my objective is straight ahead. Teleporter? Looks like teleporter. 
It actually plays quite well. When you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. With my meat hands? Oh, cool. Okay. I think, yeah, I don't have much resources outside of that. Oh. Oh, Horse biscuits? Oh, okay, I gotta stop. I can't watch that anymore. That's just wrong. Cucumber shit water. Okay. Hey! Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, yeah, I needed a gun to get through these guys. Okay. Nice. Uh, reload. Reload. Nice. Okay. Uh, I can't get up there. Yeah. Here. Yeah. I didn't know I was gonna make that. Any more of those cute and furry guys? Oh, I should be scanning all this stuff, shouldn't I? It may sound weird, but do you see a large tower moving above you? I only ask because my system Whoa. appears to be functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here. I completely did not see that. How did I not see that? It appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. This fungazoid sports several spongy, porous pom pom pods. Hmm. Can we do anything with them? <laughs> I like the way he slaps. Mmm. Backhand. Oh, what is this thing? It's kind of cool that you have to scan it. Unhatched alien eggs can be used like a natural trampoline. Ethically, what? Really? Yes. Oh. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. It looks to be a plant that's anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Nice. Well, I thank you. Look at all my grob. Do I need any more? Yeah. Grob, the only food in this universe that tastes exactly like it sounds. Ooh. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. <laughs> all edibles, take it slow. Well, I think we got to eat one of those. I don't know how to get up there. I'm assuming I need the grapple. More of these little guys. Anything I haven't scanned here? Oh, I didn't scan these guys. Whoa. Okay, I didn't mean to jump off that. Puffer bird. Okay, I don't see anything down here. Uh, does that look like a spine to something rather large? Is that? Whoa! Okay. Um. Note to self: stay away from the drug trees. Remember this being here. I'm detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration efforts. Please scan it. 
Shove it in your mouth. Mixing that orange substance with your oxygen supply may allow me to tweak its impact on your biology, which would in turn allow you to be more attuned to the local climate. Long-term impacts are unknown, but ingestion is, of course, completely your ah. decision. Please remain calm. I am monitoring your physical response. All hey. is as predicted. I am adjusting your health and biofeedback to reflect your improved suitability to the chemical mix. I salute your continued embrace of adventure. This magnetic door seems to respond to your energy signature. Open it the right get tool. through unless you manage to disable its mechanism. Hmm. A big lightning shock should do the trick. Let me see if the cryptographers found anything useful that will allow you to upgrade your suit Whoa. and do something similar to a lightning jolt. <laughs> this, you oh, scared the crap out of me. If they found it. Upgrade would be very useful indeed. I have sent a request to Kindred, but we have yet to locate the required resources on this planet. Stay tuned. What else we got around here? Okay, a lot of these guys. Hey, that guy looks different. Why does he got little spikies on him? Big Daddy and Honcho. Ooh, an alpha. I'm assuming I don't want to touch that. Just the same thing. Yeah. So that gives me health and stamina. Okay. Eat the orange things. Massive skull. There's <laughs> another orange thing over there. Can I walk on this? Yep, looks like I can. Oh! Oh! Uh. Uh. Exactly like a normal oh, it's game. shooting at me. Except for its aerial property and size and everything about it. How? Oh. Ow. Uh, did I not see something that would give me health here? I know I need this. Yeah, yeah, they drop little health things. Good to know. What's over here? Nice. Level up. Oh, good news, bad news. Good, good news, news, bad news. Those things you ate made you way harder to kill. Bad nice. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news. Potential partners did tumors. Or so I hear. The verdant wilds of... I'm totally not following my map as to what was that? Something was screaming at me. I'm not actually following my map at all. What the Okay, that's weird. What? <laughs> You shoot one, and it turns into two, and screams twice as loud. I gotta do that again. Ah! And then it does it even more. I wonder how many times you... Okay. There's something big around here. What are these things? Like a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly. A plump citrus fruit favored by the frugivores of this planet. The frutivores? Favored by the frutivores.
That was a close call. My dog had decided to eat a few things. Chim chim chiru. Looks to have fallen from the nearby tower at least four hundred years ago. Oop, there's a little green guy over there, I don't Yeah, I got him scanned. Where do you go? Those guys actually give some good resources. Okay. Oh, what's this? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting about this. Uh, crop, crop, crop. Um, or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. I don't think I want to go getting killed just yet. And I don't have another one ready. Those are kind of cool, though. Cave? Hey! How exciting! Even more exciting is the fact that the cartographers have detected a trap fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for basic jump pack. Ooh. Please use all possible methods to investigate. Okay. A possible fuel, huh? That this why does he look different? Oh, it's got a sniffle. <laughs> Ooh. Carbon. It's actually the resource collecting is kind of cool in this. Oh. Oh nice, you use it as a light. Um. Kind of wanted that light. At least I can go back and get another one. Yes. So far, I haven't seen anything that wants to kill me. What's up there? Precarious shrine. Okay, so far it just looks like those little guys that I don't have to worry too much about. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this now. Oh, is that a resource? Aluminum. Okay, now we're talking. Nice. Um. Oh, over there. That's just the way I was. Oops. Oh, doesn't look like you can take fall damage. That's good. 
Because I am always falling off of things. Oh, I was right there too. Yep. Yeah. Extract and analyze. This actually plays quite fun. Alright, little cute guys, don't make me shoot you. Uh, can't jump up that one. Okay, so I came in there. I did see something over here. No, there's the way I went. Okay, we checked that one out. I'm not even even close to going after my little mission objectives. I probably should stick to that, since I actually don't know where I am. Wow, I really got sidetracked. Okay, more of those flyy things over here. Which I don't actually mind running into. Because they give silicone. Oh, oh! Juicy loot. Actually, I got a couple of different resources off that one. Alright, where am I going? Alright, we're not too far away. Oh, that thing, okay. God, those things freak me out every time. Here, huh? Look at all this stuff. I mean, it kind of sucks you have to kill all the, uh, local wildlife to get resources, but no, I gotta get off this planet. Alright, hold on. Ready to oh god, I got a couple things ready to craft. Backpack. Required element undiscovered. Okay, so there's none of that. What is this? Shock fruit stabilizer. I don't know what a shock fruit is. Sounds fun. Better utility belt. That's a definite. Weapons. Oh, there's lots of stuff I can do. Um, fixer upper. Okay. Activate the alien teleporter. Not sure I want to do that yet. Keep exploring, easy enough. Survey the planet. Harvest all the orange goos. Really, I only got three of them? Ongoing fuel source, okay. So it looks like really my next job. Uh. Tick fall damage? Nope. Oh, 
Okay, go in. Uh, my next thing is, I guess, back to the javelin. Which should be. Controls are pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Everything is so weird looking that, you know, you stop at every single little thing. Oh, I gotta keep remembering every now and then to check. Make sure there's nothing that needs to be scanned. Okay, I think I'm back now. Yeah, this looks familiar. All right, back to the ship. Really don't have a lot of stamina, even though I've upgraded it a couple times. Do do do. Bait. Back inside. Okay, here we go. Resources deposited. If you wanna. Wow, I actually got a lot of stuff. All right. 3D printer. Weapon. I need some weapons. Improved damage. Yes. Supercharge. Shoot more, reload less. Yes. Ka Chang. Uh, backpack. Press space again while in the air to jump. Press middle mouse while moving backwards or sideways to do it. Okay, cool. Boost launchers, stomp boosters. Huh. Insufficient resource. Oh, I needed more carbon. Okay, that's all right. We'll get it. Okay, I haven't discovered the resources for that. And haven't discovered it for that either. Okay, so I got, I got my weapon done. That was creepy, did you see that? Wait. Shangtar's Fridge and Embrace. Greetings from the Ice Caverns. What? Oh. Looking for love. General Tweed's Chinese Kitchen. This is just... <laughs> Somebody's got a really good sense of humor. Mom's birthday? Question mark, question mark. Yeah. I actually remember mine because my mom's birthday is... Oh, see, now I just forgot. Uh, three days after mine. Not sure what all that is. All right. Well, there isn't really much to do on the ship besides upgrades. So, at least right now, and maybe further down the road. What did I need? Carbon. I needed carbon. Got to get that jump pack. Yeah, the game, uh, it actually plays pretty fluid. Um, I'm on PC, and right now I'm playing on keyboard and mouse. What are all those glowy things in the sky? Probably can't scan those from here. Huh. I didn't notice those the first time. Is that resources up there? I think it is. So I guess that's why I need to jump back. Now, where was I going, anyway? I guess this way? My marker says to go this way. Did these guys... Was these guys the Gabe Carbon? If it is, I gotta go slaughter a lot of them. Uh, no, that's not Carbon.
The game has got some really wicked sounds to it. Uh, silicone. No. I don't need silicone, I need carbon. Carbon was the blue stuff, right? Right. <laughs> These guys still freak me out. Is that carbon? Nice. 50. I think I needed 60 more? Huh? Just in case killing the adults wasn't sadistic enough. Oh. As much as you may like to make the attempt, the jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. Oh. However, if you come back here after you've printed the jump thrusters, my calculations indicate that they should allow you to cross rather safely, with proper usage, of course. Uh, fall damage? Oh, yep. There's definitely fall damage. I wanted that carbon. Man, the artwork in this is really cool. It's, uh... Oh, yeah. That's probably bad. It's funny, but it's not too cartoony. I don't know if that makes sense, but... It actually looks uh, really, really cool. Yeah, remember to scan. I think Did I scan that little thing? What is this? This anthill is way bigger than the ones on Earth, but the ants are the same size. <laughs> okay. Not sure why that would need to be, but... Okay, I think I got enough carbon now for my jumpsuit, so... Let's go back and get it. Heal up. Glad those things are located here and there. They actually seem to be all over the place. Hey, I'm stuck. I gotta remember to use my my uh, is it glob glop? I'm gonna say that wrong every time. Grop. All right, back to the ship. We need to get ourselves a jumpsuit. Yeah, now we're talking. Carbon. I need the carbon. I'm sorry, little guys. I'm so sorry. I need your stuff you're made of. Let's get this jumpsuit. You can craft an upgrade if you wanna. Yeah, I do. I want the backpack. Jump thrusters. Craft that. I see you have upgraded your jetpack. While not capable of full flight yet, it should still allow you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. <laughs> only minimal release. Alright, let's try it out. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns now. Oh, okay, well it's It's a it's a kick. Cool. 
What's my range? Oh, nice. This thing's got quite a range on it. Reload is a little slow, but... Oh, I can fire through this, too. Oh, I feel really bad. But I feel like farming these guys would work for getting lots of carp. I feel bad. I really, I do, I feel bad. I sort of feel bad. All right, that's it. That is our busted ass ship. We gotta fix that thing. Get off this planet, unless we're gonna decide to stay here. Kindred te Technologies, you guys make garbage. Alright guys, we're going to call that the first part. If you like the video, you like the game, slap that like button and I'll keep some more coming your way. As always guys, thanks for the love and support and I'll see you in the next one.